Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Discover My Body. This one might be a little odd, but uh, let's check it out and see, uh, well, Discover My Body. In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. Okay. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together in common, lonely people look to technology, science, for answers. One such new technology is a psych... Oh, wait, oh, what? Powerful lab synthesized fungi. You, a medical student in the local university, have been brought in to study the application of this fungi, probably. Ah, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. Okay. I hear you're... You're quite bright. Have you ever studied a psych... Psych... Psychical? Trans... Bio-Luthian flowering before? Wow, are those real words? Because if they are, I am horribly butchering them. I see. Well, you're in for quite a treat. I've assisted with many flowerings before. However, this is my first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neutron coronal scanner. To be able to view my transformation and its various effects on my bodily systems. Cool. Just navigate the icon over my body and scan for info points to click on. My brain's broca area has been linked to a digital readout. So even when I am at the point where I am beyond human speech, I will be able to communicate. Well, please begin your examination. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. Oh, please. Oh, good. I think he's covering himself. Are you? Oh, what is that? He has a face on his knee? Ah, you've discovered the injection site. Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone deep needle to my right shin. It hurt like hell, I would, I would bet, yes. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. It was a skin graft of a successful PTB flowering. What's that? It kind of looks like a face. Well, the PTB organism is a psych... Psycho? Psych... Psychical? Organism. We're just gonna call it a psych... Or, um, thing now. <laughs> it's psych manifestations draws from a shared pool. All his desians, traumas, fears, dreams... I believe that's my mother's face on my shin. She was very beautiful. Your, your, uh... Mom was a looker. Oh, how I miss her. But enough about me. Please continue the examination. Right, is there a feet? There is. That's it. Yes, I'm intentionally doing a certain section of him last. Okay, here we go. Oh, good. Yeah, he's covering himself. That's good. Um, what's over here? His shoulder? Scan? Nothing. Oh wait, topical? Skeletal. Oh, fascinating. It looks like a hand. Aha! Oh, I just noticed his face is a ball skull. Aha! You discovered my rotting bones. Yes, the rot has set in, certainly. Wouldn't that hurt a lot? It is just like the devil. But soft bones are required for the PTB to do its work. The human body was never intended to experience flowering. I would believe that. 100%. In the process, one is contorted psychologically and physically. Soft, rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Again, though, very painful stuff. I would believe it, yeah. When I begin to scream... Okay, I expect you to keep your cool, though. 
This should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? I see. Well, please continue. Okay. Um, nervous system? Is that... What is that? What's that lump? Aha! You've discovered the primordial inhibitor. This is a device implanted in my brainstem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operation like this. It limits bodily and mental re reactivity to meta-existential stimuli. In not too many words, the flowering is an evolutionary aberration, one which requires some retooling of our formation of mental concepts. For instance, one who has flowered does not experience the human idea of time. But if I tried and appreh apprehended this with uh, my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. Okay, and you're not now? Anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, please go on, discover, explore. Aha! According to the concentration of the PTB in my blood, I will begin the flowering process very soon. Quick, give me your wallet to bite down on. Oh, what? Wow, that hurt. Sorry, I seem to have bit down too hard and broke a couple of teeth. Oh, my mouth is on hurt. Sure hurt. <laughs> Give me a moment to spit them out. Now then, as you can see by my face, that's a face. I'm midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! <laughs> okay. I can feel the inkling of a pan-psychic connection. And my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth. Terrible is the key word you want to be using right here, right now. See for yourself. Do I have to? Oh, he's no longer covering himself. I don't like that. Ooh, you have a tumor? Oh, thank God. Oh, there's more. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's something here. Okay. Okay. This is probably what we need to scan. Aha! Uh -huh. You've discovered that my hands have fallen off. Yes. Well, I suppose I'll never play the violin again. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to disassociate the brain and hand connectedness. As a result of this, the hands fall off. Fascinating. As they are merely vestigial baggage, standing in the way of superior evolution. This is how zombies are made. I'm sorry, I briefly had a bit of an ego death there for a moment. I can feel my thoughts intertwine in the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue. Okay. Well, it's coming up into your ribs now. Aha! You've discovered my bone growths. As I was saying about the dramatic changes a PTB flowering occurs. Well, now, at bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. I've read that again. But look closer. My bone fragments seem to. My bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a, com a complicated, if fragile, latticework of wafer thin psychic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin. 
I knew that. I felt it. <laughs> Please go on. Okay. What's up here? Oh, I got a nervous system. Well, there's something new. Ah! <laughs> you've discovered my new minds. To the extent that the brain is a mind, that is. We'll leave that to the philosophers. As my own mind brain is just disintegrates into the group mind. Yeah, his brain is getting smaller. What remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Well, yeah, all right. Even to distinguish our oneself from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite. Pleasure. I, I feel infinite pleasures as well as infinite pain. That must be great for a sadomasochist. Anyway, is this what death is? I don't know. Aha! I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Infinite ple uh, pain. Death. I'm so happy! I'm so happy. I am not happy. I am totally grossed out and horrified. Anyway, that was Discover My Body. Um, interesting game. I, I am pretty sure Yames has other games. I might see if I can find them. And we might see them on the channel later on. Because, yeah, he has some weird, weird stuff. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to check it out for yourself, be down in the description. Give him some support. Check out his other stuff. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments. <laughs> I, I would love, look forward to reading some of those for you if you guys leave any. Um, thank you for hanging out and watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.